Let's see some mistletoe. Okay. Mm, okay. Hey everybody, it's um, it's the day after Thanksgiving, which means it's the day to get our Christmas decorations up. And also probably the day to, uh, we gotta pack up some of the stuff we use for Thanksgiving because there isn't room for a lot of stuff in this house. The real debate also these days is where is the Christmas tree gonna go because you know, space. And Megan is dressed all sorts of festive. <laughs> and I got a merry elf with me. There you go. You got a good audience. I need to buy enough Christmas sweaters that I can wear a Christmas sweater for the next 20 days. Like a days. different one every day? Yeah. How many? At the thrift store, so. That's a great it's one. Possible. It's like, is that from Peru, you think? I guess llamas, people love llamas these days, so. Who knows, right? Merry Christmas. Poof, New York. No, doesn't say anything about Prue in there. So Meg and I were talking about what to do with the tree. We haven't even brought it over yet because we, we have a fake tree. We don't buy the real thing. And we thought maybe what we should do actually is just move this couch. We got these. We have laundry in here that still needs to be folded. Um, but move the couch over there, move these chairs here, and then we could put the tree right there in the front window, basically. And it would be pretty from the street. And also maybe we could keep all this... The chairs that wouldn't have to get rid of any of the chairs because we need all the seating in here that we can get all right so um this might work we really need to get the tree to really find out though right all right we swapped the couches we realized that this couch because it's super deep should hang out into this space a little bit more to make more room in the middle there okay we're over here at the uh, warehouse We've got Christmas boxes. We have stuff buried in there too. Um, story of our lives, digging stuff out of this um, maze of boxes. But actually, I think a lot of it is, isn't too far in. So Okay, I'm gonna be taking all of my pillows out for the holidays so I can bring in some holiday pillows and not hear too many complaints. I'm letting that one stay because it'll work with the holiday pillows. People always complain about my pillows. These people. I don't really know why you need them. Mm. Well, they're comfortable. Just how you don't have to. Use it's like having bows in your hair, or flowers no, in your yard. I also need to take out my um, little fall porch. Hi, my baby. How are you? Huh? So they're gonna bring it all in. Good job, Mister. Well, Dad wants to just start with the tree. Okay, Ash, why don't you finish the lunch dishes? I know, but you were supposed to do them long ago. That's the consequence of not. Okay. I think we want, where's the closest? I guess it's right over there, huh? Let's plug it in before There's we... one right here. We got the Christmas tree, man. Okay. Yeah. We got big Christmas trees. Yeah, are we using this too? Well, yeah, that's the very top. top, so I hope so. <gasps> Do you watch the trees? Wow! <laughs> he was impressed. Okay, let's. No. No. Nope. gonna come out. What? And then you kind of unbend them all so you fill yeah, in the so spaces. We'll go shape it but so the question is do we, does this work Whoa. is this where we want it yes oh, yeah. definitely we should make a it works just or perfectly and we changed our mind there's still an ornament on here I don't even remember this ornament. That's not ours because Weston Allison used this tree last. Oh. Here, we probably need to move the move this the so chairs away from there for, for now. For the moment, so we can actually get around it. Oh. Hey, we have one ornament on it. Two <laughs> Christmas tree. 
I love how quick that is and easy. We just have to replace. There's a strand down there we're going to replace. But um, I don't even know. Well, it probably needs it. But I think it looks pretty good. We're breaking out the Christmas stockings. These are awesome. Um, we ordered these from Land's End. We got these from Land's End probably five or six years ago. They have they they will do like a you know your 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 names on them, and they had enough choices that there's actually eleven different designs. We actually got them. Who owns these? Like, I don't know. We, they were we actually got them before we'd even adopted the kids. They hadn't even come home yet. Well, we knew they were coming. We knew we were going to adopt them, and so we ordered them. Even they yeah, came home. so Daniels and Eves and Jude's all came before they even came home. Okay, let's put the tree skirt on, Esther. You know how to do it? Yeah. Let's wrap it around. Okay, there it is. Tree skirt. The way we're handling the stocking situation without Daniel and um, Elijah here is we actually still have their stockings here and we put them up as if they were here. And then we already, Elijah did Christmas away from home last Christmas because he was in Japan. And we just sent him like a, just a stocking to have there because we didn't want to risk their stockings getting lost <laughs> while they're on their mission. So we keep them here, we hang them up. Obviously we don't need to put anything in them, but uh, they each get their own stocking that they use, you know, where they're at. Okay, so one of the things you have to do to get the stockings hung in here is I gotta put some uh, hooks in. So I gotta drill a few holes, well, 11 holes. Measured it all out, so it should be even Steven. Put the stockings up. Okay, I'm gonna go over and make a little meat dish. I am going to make a little meat dish. Yeah, I want to put a little table right there that can have nativities on it. So I have a little one I got for 10 bucks. I'm gonna go paint it real quick and hopefully get it done by tonight. Awesome. Sweet. Okay, I think this is enough for like a small. Okay. Okay, Jude, you want to put up those stockings? Yeah. Okay. Looking pretty good, right? Yeah. Do, do they look centered on there? Yeah. Put back up. <laughs> oh, I gotta do this. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We've skipped forward one day, another day, because yesterday we really only got up the stockings and the tree. We haven't decorated the tree yet. Um, and Megan put up a few um, candle type things, which are actually pretty cute. Megan put these up. And those are those are festive. Um, so right now, though, it's Saturday morning. The kids are currently working on their chores to get their stuff done. Every Saturday, we have chores for the kids. Of course, Mom and I are doing chores all week, so. Um, the way we do things with our kids is we have a chore chart. We have uh, we have daily chores, where depending on the day of the week, they each have a thing to do. You know, depending on uh, yeah the day and and what's happening, it cycles through the weeks. We have a five week rotation so that no kid has the same chore every day of the week. So on Monday, you're not always going to have the you know. The, the dinner dishes you'll kind of move over the next week to a different dinner dishes so it rotates through and then the weekly chores are kind of the same thing everyone has a thing to do and um yeah works their way through it so that's how we try to keep things somewhat clean around here although it's hard to to do because there's so many people but we do our best right eve yeah anyway so once we get things cleaned up I think we'll get back on putting Christmas decorations up. We have all the boxes, this one and 
Well, we have a few boxes around that we need to empty out and uh, put things up and hopefully get this place looking a little more festive. All right, so we got um, a lot of our chores done this morning. So after lunch, Megan had to go over to the warehouse to take care of some indoorsy business stuff. Um, so we're gonna work on that, or she's gonna work on that, and I'm gonna work on inventorying some of our um, Christmas lights. Okay, so need to figure out what lights we have and how many. Okay, those, we got a lot of, um, um, what do you call them? Ornaments in here, Christmas ornaments. Oh good, I got some clips. Yeah, that's Peter. Yeah. Must have made that at church. Yeah. Okay, so these are some lights, but I think the rest of these, the rest of this stuff is for the tree. Yeah, that's all like ornaments, so. Pretty. Is that pretty? Yeah. Okay, so we have these ones. And that. Which are pretty. And that. We're trying to decide what lights we're gonna put on the house. So we got a couple of those. Where did our icicle lights go? We have a bunch of those too, but I don't know where they're at. Okay, I'm guessing that we have a box. We still have that box. Well, that I know that's not in there, so we must have a box that we haven't found yet that has Chris, more Christmas lights in it because I know we have more than that. Okay, I think I found the missing link here. This was buried. Oh yeah, these are the the uh, whatever you call them, icicle lights. I keep them separated in bags so they don't get all wound up together because those can really get messed up. Okay, take this to the house. So Megan's project, because we've got a lot of furniture that she, we're feeling a little behind on. She just painted this, this bad boy. It's beautiful. It's pretty. First coat. I did Shiny. A, uh, yeah, like a Ooh. gloss, oil-based paint. It's beautiful. I'm really happy with that. Very nice. Okay, got back with the, um, the lights. Now it's time to start running some cords and getting these up on the house. Okay, I got those up, but I ended up being short by one strand, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna have to see if, I got these at Costco originally once upon a time. I'm hoping they have some that are similar to these uh, still, so, so they'll match at least a little bit. Okay, I went to Costco. They do not have those lights anymore, so we're gonna have to find some icicle lights somewhere else. Probably try Target or something like that. It's a little bit later in the evening. Um, I was unable to locate more icicle lights, so we may just be stuck with how the lights are right now out there. So be it. But we've pulled out a few more decorations. Megan is giving us her uh, artistic touch here. I'm trying to. Pom poms. Now. Looks good. All done, right? <laughs> I think we'll probably just be done for the day. But we'll come back tomorrow. Be this video will probably be a three-day video because we'll probably tomorrow. I think we'll actually put up the uh, Christmas tree ornaments because that's always a fun thing the family does together. And um, probably end it there. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's now day number three for Christmas decorating. And I think we're just gonna end this video with putting the Christmas decorations on the tree. Um, it's just, it's been a Sunday. We had church, had church at home today. Um, had dinner. Mom and the kids, these kids just pulled out a uh, 
puzzle. Mom, that's So that's easy. fun. We're doing chores right now. Those who have chores tonight, getting cleaned up. I actually made some cookies this evening, which are mostly all eaten because the kids like eat them as they were coming out of the oven. These are snickerdoodles. These are super yummy snickerdoodles. They were, they were very good. They're the best, right? This recipe might be on our website. I don't know. It's a pretty common snickerdoodle recipe. Nothing real special, but it's really, 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 really good. Soft, snickery. Wait, what were you saying? It's soft but chewy, snickery and doodling. Right, all the, everything you expect from a snickerdoodle. Anyway, so we just gotta get a little bit more cleaned up and then we can finally get the uh, decorations, or I should say the ornaments on that Christmas tree. Okay, we're ready to go. We got the box here full of, um, well, our ornaments that are, we tried to pack carefully, but hopefully nothing broke. What we do is, um, a big part of um, decorating the Christmas tree is remembering places that we've been to. When we travel, whenever we go to a place, or most places, we what we do is we get an ornament there, and then we get everything out and, and each person as they put an ornament on, they choose which one and they tell us or we remember that place and kind of have a little fun memory time. What's that? Reminiscence. Reminiscence, that's good. So um, we've collected quite a few ornaments um, from different places around the country, around the world. So it's always fun to go back and remember the different places you've been. Uh, so we, I think, do we go in age order? No. Yeah, we'll go in age order. So we'll start with Jude. Okay, Jude. So, some of them it's hard to know what they are because they're wrapped in paper, but you may just have to kind of go on faith and pick something. <laughs> okay, do you remember where we got this? So where did we get that? Um, well, we got it. Like this. Um, I don't... What's that word? And then rock. Blowing rock. Town. I'm not sure if Jude ever knew the name of that town we were in. What happened? Did we break it already? That didn't take long. Oh, so we went there for my birthday, right? That was fun. That was not too long ago. Okay, go put it on the go put it on the tree. What is it, Eve? What is it? Oh, there it is. Let's look at this. Here, I'll hold it so we can see it. You want to really pose? Yeah. Okay. Here, look. Let me see it. This is from the College Park Aviation Museum. This was one of our first stops on our RV trip, though. It's not super exciting, but we did go. It was in D.C. What's that for? Um, the cheese factory in... Tillamook, Washington. Oh, yeah. Well, Washington, so, Oregon. We no, Tillamook, we Oregon. <laughs> we got some really yummy three-year-old cheddar. Yeah, from yeah we, we went back like, once uh, to get it just to get our cheese. Yeah. We went through that area twice. We, got cheese the second time. we went through there twice? Where is this from? All right, Peter, where is that from? Is this Let's from Harry it. Potter Land or? Well, unit, here, studios. turn it so I can see it. So that's Harry Potter. We went to well, two Harry Potter locations. Which ones were they? Uh, Harry Potter Land and Harry Potter Studios in London. We went to Harry Potter Studios in London, and then whatever it's called at Walt Disney World. I don't know. Disney. Excuse me, Universal Studios. Sorry, Universal. Harry Potter World, I think. Yeah. Okay. So that can represent both. There's those like are both. World and Harry Potter. Those are both fun days. Earl's turn. Oh, the one. Ooh. Central Park. Central Park, okay, New like, York. Yes, Central Park with That's the like, first strangers. time I yeah. beat Peter. I never, I never Pearl, went once. Wait, Pearl, them. what was your favorite part of Central Park? I don't really remember. <laughs> what? Dang it. I don't even the know. Classic. I, I know there was the pond there, the rocks you climb all over. Wait, no, what's this it called? The, the, scram the Brambles? Or the, the Brambles. No. What, I think. Was that a place we went to the marble rock slide? No. Was that? Yes, next? that was there. Oh, that, is. that rock slide. Yeah, I remember we were sliding down on boxes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that was fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Andrew, Andrew stashed one. Colonial in Williamsburg, Colonial. <laughs> this look. This is actually this. You get this. Reading this. Got this from a thrift store or something? Yeah, yeah we didn't we actually. We actually have one in here already. We well, actually I, have one from there, but. One. And you get it if you if you subscribe to a magazine, they send it to you. 
<laughs> so you found that one at a thrift store. And I wasn't sure if we had gotten one, so I grabbed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, is the other one better? I don't know. Mm, I, I don't know. Go They're ahead. both I'd good. Like go this is where I'd for, Colonial I'd Williamsburg is cool. It's where I went my first ghost walk, I think. They oh, have, yeah. Um, they do Christmas there. I wish I, we should, I'd like to go. We should see if they're doing it. They probably are. Hey! This one is Garden of the Gods in Colorado. Garden of the Gods in Colorado. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. Those cool red. rocks. Those big red rocks sticking out of the ground. Oh, yeah. You probably oh. remember it, Jude. There was like, it was Jude is pretty little. We it, was like, it looks really dramatic. Yeah, and it was like... It's... Yeah, I was like, like, we drove across no. the Midwest and got to Colorado. We went there, and it was like mind blowing. It's like opening a present. Ah, no. Monticello, Thomas Jefferson's house. That was also well, that was one like of the, the first place. place we ever went. Yeah, we went there pretty early. That I think was the first place, actually. Really be careful. <laughs> I want a good one. <laughs> I hate it, busy. St. Augustine. Mm. Oh. In Florida. Oh, the Pirate Museum and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I like how we were at the Pirate Museum more than anything else there. The Pirate Museum was It was, was really great. fun. Yeah. I'd, I'd go there again. This is Model Beach. These are the Cliffs of Moore. This is from Notre Dame? Yeah. Notre Dame. All right. Pikes Peak. Kona, Hawaii. New Grange, Ireland. Colonial Williamsburg. 2.0, right there. This is Grant's Tomb in New York City. Animal Kingdom, Disney World. Bunratty Castle. In Ireland, right? In Ireland. Mont Saint Michel, oh, France. Oh, that was so amazing. Trinity College and the Book of Kells. Gablin Valley. Lada Plantation. San Francisco. The Mystery Spot. <laughs> the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. Some Eiffel sort of Tower, Paris. Viking Museum. <laughs> the Viking. Uh, Dublin? The Viking Museum. <laughs> Viking. <laughs> the Viking Museum in Dublin. White. Out. Out. Luray Caverns in Virginia. The Atlanta Aquarium. Giants Causeway, Ireland. Northern Ireland. London. Houston Zoo, Texas. Medieval Times in Myrtle Beach, Florida. No, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Leavenworth, Washington. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens. Kylemore Abbey. Uh, Abbey. Yeah. In Ireland. Ireland. Mile High Swinging Bridge, uh, Boone, North Carolina. Davidson, North Carolina. The Alamo, Texas. Shannon So in France. Sequoia National Park. Zion's National Park. Oh, okay, this... Walt Disney World, Florida. Mountain Rushmore. No, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Mount. Mount. Rushmore. Rushmore. There you go. Say Moab. Uh, but. Utah. Dot. Close enough. Ta -da. Amazon Rainforest, Peru. Cusco, Peru. All right, that is all the ornaments from the places we visited. If you're new here, um, be careful. Those are, those are not, those are fresh. If you're new here, we uh, traveled once upon a time for a year in an RV, and that's where a lot of the ornaments came from. And then we went to Europe. Yes. Is that a place we went to? I don't think so. It's just creepy. Um, and then we went to Europe and we were over there for about 10 months. So a lot of those came from those travels and then some from after. And the star. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We have low ceilings. Eight foot ceilings. Hey, you got stool. There's Where's the stool? Behind you. in my room. Hey, it's our house. It's just cut a little hole right there. Yeah. <laughs> We're homeowners. Yeah. Responsible. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go like. If you don't have a light, it'll glow. Stuff it in there. Doesn't it have a bar for it? Oh, it does. Megan, you're so smart. 
or it's just like a spot. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I think. Yeah. All right, the tree is looking pretty good. I'm going to so we just about got it. Asher has some mistletoe he's anxious to use, but <laughs> no girls here for you right now, bud. No, 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 no. Dad, stand next to Mom. We see some mistletoe. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, Megan, we've also collected some nativities. However, those were harder to collect as in our travels because they're kind of big. So it's we, a newer thing I've been collecting. We don't have a ton of them, but we do have this was one, some. This was our first nativity from our mom and dad. It's a Jim Shore. It's a pretty one. I like Jim Shore stuff. This we got in Peru. I love it. This one I actually found at the thrift store. Peru? I don't... It looks like it's from maybe like Honduras or somewhere. I don't know my it's Central American cool. country. I think it's super cool. It's like stone inlay. That one's really oh. pretty. I don't remember I where I got it. That looks like a. I think that. I think really we just got that from like Hobby Lobby. I don't. I, I think. have no remembrance of buying it. No memory. No memory. So. Oh, that's a pretty one. And then we do have one from Indonesia that my parents got for us when they were there as missionaries. What's that one? It's another gym shore that I found at the thrift store. <laughs> Like so we travel to the thrift store for these nativities. Dude, I just get them wherever, whenever I like them, and I find them. Look at that. I think we got that at the thrift store, too. I forgot we had that. Another uh, little advent didn't calendar. Need to get the one we have over there. We got one from Target just the other day. <laughs> we love advent calendars. All right, Megan, we, we opted to move the nativities over here because there's just more room. But this one we also got in Mexico. 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 I think we have more decorations than we have a house right now. We realize we have like uh, four advent calendars somehow. That's okay. Our two animals have gotten cozy there. And this animal's cozy too. You're kind of blending into the couch. If you weren't wearing your jeans, I would I wouldn't be able to see you right now. I need to get some yellow velvet pants. Totally, and you just the kids wouldn't even know you're there. Probably. <laughs> well, we're halfway there. I think we've done we've done as much decorating as we. This has actually turned out to be our most decorative night. Um, that tree is full. There's a lot of ornaments on that tree. They're gonna all migrate. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna work their way down. The cats will be knocking them off, you know. But I think this looks pretty cute over here. I like all the candles. And then we it was just a bunch of stuff out on the table. They're still kind of loose, but we'll get there. We're gonna put. We have more uh, fabric. That green fabric is very Christmassy. There's more of that over at the warehouse, so we're gonna hang that along with the wreath. I think that's gonna look good. And we have a few advent counters, which. I think it's actually fun because then you go around every morning and you, you know, make the changes. I think we'll end the video with that. It was really fun. It's always fun to go through all the different places that we've traveled to. Although you realize the places you forgot to get ornaments from were right. maybe it was Lost impossible to. But uh, really fun to go down memory lane. I think what we are going to do, we'll probably put links below to, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of links, but to the places that we named in the ornaments. So you can go watch those videos if you want to, or a video from that place, because some places have multiple videos. Yeah, that's um, true. But uh, you can check that out. And I will put, I'll put the recipe for the snickerdoodles on the website, because that's, those are yummy, yummy cookies. So, um, to end it, just go to northernsouth.com if you have more questions. Megan's tired, it's a little bit late. You can go to our Amazon shop there where we have all the stuff, or I shouldn't say all the stuff, but a lot of the stuff we use. Um, you can also just go through that link to do any of your Christmas shopping and we actually get a little bit of credit for anything you buy there, um, anywhere on Amazon. Um, we also have t-shirts that we're, we have for sale, uh, the new I'm ones that we one made. Right now. I'm wearing, wearing one of them right now. This is from a quote from Abraham Lincoln. It says, when I do good, I feel good.
which is very true. And we have North and South, just the North and South like logo t-shirts and sweatshirts on We there. also have a project coming up where we're gonna, tr what, like we wanna do kind of like a giving back to the community project. So that should be fun. Stay in tuned. a couple weeks, we're gonna do a fun project in town. We'll, we'll take you guys along for it. That'd be cool. But we're excited about Christmas. We love it and uh, we hope you're yeah. having a good holiday season wherever you're at and whatever you're celebrating and thanks for coming along so wherever you're at we hope you're having a good holiday season and thanks for coming along and coming into our home especially in 2020 when you can't really have many people in your home that's but true love you happy holidays and talk to you later yeah bye bye